Morphogenesis refers to the changes in cell shape, position, and adhesion. It involves the reorganization of cytoskeleton. It is involved in processes such as the formation of neural tube in vertebrates. First, microtubules help elongate the cells of the neural plate, and the actin filament deforms the cells into wedge shapes, forming the neural fold. Lastly, the neural plate pinches off and forms the neural tube. More details about neurulation has been covered in my last video about animal development. Reorganization of cytoskeleton also drives convergent extension, a morphogenetic movement in which cells of a tissue become narrower and longer, which plays a role in the elongation of archenteron and sea urchin and the involution of gastrula in frogs. Cell adhesion molecules located on cell surfaces contribute to cell migration and stable tissue structure, such as cadherin, which are important in the formation of frog blastula. The extracellular matrix also help guide cell movement. A second mechanism of morphogenesis is apoptosis, or programmed cell death, which is involved in tadpole morphogenesis into frog. Determination or specification means that a group of cells is committing to a fate. And differentiation refers to the resulting specialization in structure and function. Cytoplasmic determinants are maternal substances in egg that influence the course of early development, such as P granules and C elegans. Cells influence each other's fate with inductive signals. The positional information tells a cell where it is with respect to body axes. The positional information as well as the induction signals regulate the pattern formation or the arrangement of organs and tissues in their characteristic spaces three-dimensionally. For example, Hox gene controls pattern formation in many animals. The embryonic cells respond to positional information indicating location along three axes, the proximal distal axis, anterior-posterior axis, and the dorsal-ventral axis. In frogs, the egg polarity determines the anterior-posterior axis, whereas cortical rotation determines the dorsal-ventral axis. In chick embryo, gravity determines the anterior posterior axis, whereas pH differences determines the dorsal ventral axis. In insects such as fruit flies, the proteins bicoid and nanos determine the anterior posterior axis, and the BMP4 gene determines the dorsal ventral axis. In vertebrate limb bud, ZPA or zone of polarizing activity regulates development along the anterior posterior axis of the limb by creating the protein hedgehog, whereas AER or apical ectodermal ridge regulates the development of the proximal distal axis. By secreting a protein signal called fibroblast growth factor or FGF, scientists Beeman and Mangle conducted experiments on amphibian embryo to investigate cell fate determination during gastrulation. They found that transplanted dorsal lip was able to induce cells in a different region of the recipient to form structures different from their normal fate. Therefore, dorsal lip is known as the Spemans organizer. Drosophila or fruit fly embryogenesis is regulated by two groups of genes. The maternal effect genes are also known as egg polarity genes, controls the orientation of the egg. The morphogen gradient hypothesis states that gradient substances known as morphogens establish an embryo's axes. In Drosophila embryo, asymmetric distribution of bicoid at the anterior end activates hunchback at anterior while represses caudal at anterior, whereas the morphogen nanos is asymmetrically distributed at the posterior end and along with pumilio repressed hunchback at posterior. Drosophila embryogenesis is also regulated by the segmentation genes, which direct the formation of proper number of body segments. First, the gap genes divide the developing embryo into several broad regions. The pair rule genes then define seven stripes, and the segment polarity genes divide them into 14 segments. Finally, homeotic genes functions in pattern formation, specifying which organs and appendages will develop in particular segments.